of the worst things that has ever happened to me, and it's happened a gazillion times, is when I get stuck in Chris's thinking, Chris's thinking alone, where I have to figure out things and dream up things and uh, do things on my own. There is, though, a higher wisdom that can come through instead of just your mind or my mind, a correct thinking of God. It says in Proverbs 16:24, pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. One of the great discoveries of life is that we have the power to control our own thinking. And we don't feed error thinking by uh, constantly dwelling on worry or fear or anxiety and then retelling ourselves in our thoughts about that. Instead, we move it over to God to correct thinking. One of the great discoveries in life is that we're not at the mercy of our own moods that can interfere, as you know and I know, with our happiness and our peace of mind. We have the power to say no to unhappy thoughts, and we have the power to transform negative thought patterns into positive ones. We do it by getting out of human mind and going higher. We remind ourselves today that our thoughts are creative and with God, out of them, we weave a pattern for daily living as happy, positive, peaceful children of God. We stay in line with the truth. If it becomes necessary to put forth effort to be cheerful and upbeat, well, then this is what we do. We don't do it just in the company of others. We do it when we're alone in the company of ourselves. We work on developing a cheerfulness from early morning till late at night, and we turn our thoughts into pleasant and uplifting themes. We talk to ourselves. We talk to our mind. We guide it. We keep it in the correct pattern of God. And by thinking right, we help to create happiness. By thinking right, we help to create good in our lives. Our positive outlook becomes a reflection of our peaceful mind and our happy heart. And we will find that our pleasant words to others, to ourselves, become like a honeycomb. It becomes sweetness to our soul, health to our body.